Hey guys, um, so I'm making this video to do something that I never intended on doing, but at this point I kind of have to. I am asking for help. Um, I need to learn self-defense and I can't just go to a class, right? <laughs> because the perpetrators will follow me. They'll start lying about me, slandering, you know, character assassination, right? They'll set me up, they'll try to entrap me. Um, you know, they'll turn the teacher against me. They'll, they'll do whatever they can. Um, I can't do that. If I'm going to learn self-defense, it's going to have to be, you know, in, in a private setting. Um, I'm willing to pay for the lessons. So, you know, if you're in the Chicago area and either you're already a target, so there's, it's not like you're going to be retargeted, right? Or you're, you're not a target, but you understand what's going on and you want to help us and you understand the risks involved in that. Um, yeah, I, I could use a little help learning basic self-defense. I will pay for the lessons. We can discuss, uh, you know, a, a fee for that. Um, because it's becoming more and more evident that I'm going to need to fight back physically at some point. The attacks are getting worse and I know why they're doing it, right? It's what they're doing to all targets. They want to drive us to, to physical violence, to either where we, we, act, we lash out physically and get arrested or killed, right? In this case, I'm probably going to get killed because these guys are stronger than I am. They're not, they're not all taller than I am, but they are stronger than I am. Um, you know, or we're going to end up in a, a psych ward you know, or, or something like that. That's, that's what, that's the goal. And they're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until that happens. So they're taking the attacks up now for me anyway. Um, it's getting physical and it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to respond physically at some point, you know, even just, it, just instinct. And, and the psychopaths running this program know that, you know, the more you're attacked and attacked and attacked physically, psychologically, you know, emotionally on every conceivable level, at, at some point you have to, you start swinging back. You can't just shut up and take it any longer. It's, it's human nature to fight back. That's instinct. You can't just lie down and be a doormat indefinitely. Um, anyway, you know, it's, so what happened? Um, I was, I was at the store today getting something for my mom and my mom said, well, well, you should have reported him to the police. And I said, well, what good was that going to do? Right? What good was that going to do? First of all, this guy didn't actually make a threat, but second of all, um, even if he had, and even if he had, even if he had physically assaulted me, which he didn't, um, even though there are cameras everywhere, we know that the, the security, the managers, you know, it's a different store than the last time, but we know they wouldn't have done anything. They wouldn't have handed over the footage to the cops, you know, um, and to the police officers. We hear a lot about officers killing, committing suicide. And I think partly it's that they're being asked to do really bad things, either to ignore evidence they have so they don't help people who need help or worse to set people up or, or whatever it is, you know, targets of, of organized stalking. They know that, that, that the police are involved in this. And I think some officers, you know, they, they don't know what to do. They're not bad people. They're, they're put in these horrible situations where they're told to do horrible things and to go along with this, this God awful program. They don't want to, they can't get out of it. Right. A lot of them have family members. They don't want to be targeted. I think they just end up killing themselves. So we, we can't expect help from anybody, right? Um, I need to learn self-defense. You know, I, anyway, so this guy at the store, uh, he was walking toward me and I wasn't in an aisle yet. I was in the main, I was on the main floor, the area of the main floor. He was walking towards me and um, yeah, he was either Jewish or Italian and you know, in the last video, when I was talking about the manager, and that was, that was a different story, that was CVS. I wasn't at CVS this time. But, you know, when I was talking about the manager, I said he was either Jewish or Hispanic. I didn't mean Hispanic. I meant Italian. Okay. So, right, this guy was uh, either Jewish or, or Italian. He was younger, maybe late 20s, early 30s. He was walking towards me, and he, he rubbed, he, he gave the nose gesture. Okay. I didn't respond. He did it again. I didn't respond. He did it again. And keep in mind, he's looking right at me the entire time. You know, I tend to avoid eye contact with, with people. I always have, even since, you know, ever since I was a child, I would avoid eye contact. It just makes me really uncomfortable with men and women, um, everybody. But he was looking directly at me and I did make eye contact with him. And even when, when we passed, he went like this. He followed me with it, you know, he was trying to provoke, like trying to, to let me know that something was up. You know, because I didn't know him. I don't believe I've ever seen him before. So what the fuck is his problem, right? I didn't say that. But, right. So, you know, as he passed me and we're making eye contact, I don't know what's going on. Or, well, I kind of do. I mean, he's a gang stalker, right? But I said, you know what? Just leave people alone. And then I walked on. 
I didn't curse at him. I didn't confront him. I just said, leave people alone, please. I walked on. I turned down the aisle that I was heading toward, right? I was heading toward an aisle. I turned down that aisle. Then I hear something behind me and, and he, in you know, something like, hey, or something like that. I turn around. He says, you talking to me? He's getting confrontational and I'm ready to fucking explode. Don't fucking come at me that way. I can't take much more of it. You know, these, they get these primitive little, little beasts, right? These, 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 these really animals and human flesh to just swarm people. And they're so fucking stupid and animalistic. They don't expect that, that, that their targets are going to respond or they kind of want them to, but then they get angry when they do. Um, it, it's like, what, what the fuck is wrong with them? You know, if you're going to, if you're going to hunt and stalk people, expect some kind of response. And if all you get is a verbal response, you're dead lucky. For Christ's sake. But yeah, he looked genuinely angry. He's clenching his fist. You talking to me? Were you talking to me? <laughs> I'm thinking, I just said to him, don't do it. You know, I'm so, I, 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 what did I say? Stop it. It's enough. Don't. I am not in the mood for this. And then I pointed at my camera and tapped it. Um, he looked at the, the, the camera on my arm and in the little holder, and then he walked off. I, I don't remember entirely how it went, but it's getting to the point where, you know, you're, you're, you're a target. At some point, you're going to have to respond. That is instinct. You know, you can't just take it forever. And the psychopaths running this, they know that. But... You know, it's getting to the point where they're, you know, they're having people come at me who don't have common sense, who are witless, you know, irrational, illogical beasts of the field, so to speak, who, who don't have enough common sense to think that, you know, if you go after someone, chances are they're going to respond. You know, he actually got angry as if I had done something to him. And if you consider everything that targets are put through, the psychological abuse, the emotional abuse, the physical abuse, the, the degradation, the, the, the character assassination, I mean, it is... It is horrific, okay? But we're expected to shut up and take it quietly without flinching. And yet, you so much as utter anything to one of these, these sick fucks, and they act like you, you cursed their mother or something. They can't take a fraction, 1%, of what they expect us to shut up and take in silence. And this is why you have so many people just snapping, right? This is why you have so many people snapping. You know, those shooters, the mass shooters, they said they were being followed. They said people could see them in their home. People were making certain comments and gestures and on and on and on. They might have been driven insane, but they were not delusional. That was really happening to them. Why do they snap? Because they're expected to shut up and take it, shut up and take it, shut up and take it for so long. They bottle it up, bottle it up, bottle it up. They can't do anything about it. At some point, they just snap and innocent people get killed. You know, when it comes to those mass shooters, they were driven to that. And the, 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 the people responsible for the, the deaths of innocent people are the psychopaths running this program, but also the lackeys, the, the, the idiot lackeys who go along with the sick shit against people they don't even know. They gather in groups to, 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 to hunt, stalk, terrorize people, to, to make nasty comments, to, to fuck with them. And then they wonder why they get a negative response. And then they, they sit back and say, oh, wow, he really, is, he really is violent or she really is angry because they're too stupid to understand cause and effect, action and reaction. What they're getting is a self-fulfilled expectation. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, so I was thinking, you know, earlier too, before I left this morning, I was thinking that, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're kind of, when you're short and you're kind of scrawny and you're not, you're not that fit, it would be a good idea to get fit, wouldn't it? Um, I got to start lifting weights. Hey, I got to get stronger. Um, but you know, when you're, when you, when you, when you're just smaller, right? You, you, you have to come back in a more aggressive manner because you, you don't have the, the physical strength to work with, right? And, and I use this example, take like, you know, a, a man who's six foot tall, you know, 270 pounds of solid muscle, and then take a little five foot woman, right? Um, a, you know, 90 pounds, five foot, you know, something like that. If he attacks her, she's going to have to use every ounce of, of strength that she has against him. She's going to have to do everything she can. She is going to have to kick, scratch, claw, bite. I mean, she's going to have to go full berserk if she has any chance of getting out of that at all, right? But flip it, right? If she were to attack him, 
All he would have to do is hold her back with one finger. He would not have to exert that much energy because he's so much stronger than she is. Um, and you know, same thing with the worthless gang stalkers, right? They are pathetic cowards. They gather in massive groups against lone targets they don't believe can fight back. People they have outnumbered, outgeared, outresourced, right? The one thing these, these stupid animals won't do is go after any real threat or anyone they believe to be a real threat. But eventually the target snaps, right? Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to, to do that. What I'm saying is I need to be able to defend myself. You know, I need to be able to, to, to defend myself. In fact, I, I caution targets, be careful. You know, don't, don't act violently unless there's an immediate physical threat to your life or to someone else's life. Because what the psychopaths behind this program want is for you to lash out violently, right? Don't do it. Restrain yourself as hard as that is. I'm only explaining what's happening here, right? Um, anyway, so I was thinking about that and I was thinking then about, you know, um, you know, chihuahuas, <laughs> like little chihuahuas I've seen are so aggressive, and not all of them obviously, but I've seen really, really aggressive chihuahuas who are just little terrors, yipping and, and growling and, and barking mad. <laughs> um, compare that to like a Great Dane or something that's really relatively calm, right? I, you know, the, the smaller little dogs have evolved to, in some cases to be more aggressive because they have to be, right? Predators are cowards who gather against the weaker, the weakest, right? If, if you are the weakest physically, you better have something else to work with. Um, so I was thinking about that. And then, okay, that was this morning. Then when I got back to the building today, of course, someone got out of the elevator carrying a chihuahua. That's, that's, that's what they do. That's what they do. And you know, when I was, I was thinking about this this morning, I never even said it out loud. I was just thinking it. Um, anyway, this is what's happening. As far as the video footage, again, my camera was pointing in the wrong direction. You can, you can hear a voice saying, you know, were you talking to me and shit like that? And you can hear me responding, but you can't quite see him. Although I did get a picture of him when he was walking directly towards me initially when he was making the gestures. So that I have, I have, you know, I have a, and I took a still shot of that. So I do have his picture. I, I, I need a camera that, that just records all around me. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's happening. I need to learn self-defense. If there's anyone in the Chicago area who can teach me basic self-defense, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I don't care what race you are. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi, trans. It doesn't matter, right? Just be a decent human being. Don't be a bigot, right? Whatever. And I, I will pay you a fair price for the lessons. Let me know.